There are six core skills, six levels of performance, four performance variables, and three domains of communication. We'll go through each of these separately to develop an understanding of the core features. The first skill of learning is very much about how a person sees themselves as a learner, the planning and the management of their learning, and the practical strategies they have to assist their learning. Reading has two core strands, <clears throat> the audience purpose and meaning making strand and the actual reading strategies of text navigation or sounding out, that sort of thing. Writing has two main strands, again, the broad area of audience, purpose and meaning making, and then the mechanics of writing, like the vocab or the handwriting, the spelling, the punctuation. So these first three core skills of learning, reading and writing, approach them in the same way. That is the big picture focus and then a nuts and bolts focus. Oral communication is about speaking and listening. Numeracy is approached through three separate strands. Identifying mathematical information, using and applying that mathematical information or problem solving processes, and then communicating and representing maths. Digital literacy has been developed later, so it's not in the main book. We'll look at that a bit later on. The ACSF has six levels of performance, ranging from pre-level one, low level performance, to level five, which is high level performance. Each of the six core skills have milestones set along a continuum of performance. Pre-level one has been divided into parts A and B. This is to acknowledge the progress at these very low levels of performance. The language of the ACSF is exit levels, not working levels. So if a person is described as demonstrating evidence at level one, that is, it's a level one performance, it means that they've satisfied enough of the variables at level one to be rated at that level. The key underpinning feature of the ACSF is the performance variables grid, the PVG. This recognises four factors that may influence an individual's performance at any point in time across any of the core skills. The nature and degree of support. At the low levels, support is going to be highly structured and readily available. By level three, the learner is uh, showing some independence and by level five is an autonomous learner. Context, the second uh, performance variables grid moves from extremely familiar contexts to some less familiar contexts, some new contexts and by level five, uh, specialisation in one or more contexts. The third variable is text complexity. So at the lower levels, uh, texts are extremely explicit, they're short, they're simple. They move on to be more complex or highly complex with a lot of embedded information at the higher levels. And the fourth variable is task complexity. So what is being asked of the performance? Um, concrete tasks of a single step at the very low levels, then moving through uh, processes such as naming, copying, and higher level ones, some simple interpreting, then some extracting, inferencing, and then uh, by level five, sophisticated task conceptualization, etc. How the last two variables of text and task complexity interrelate is important in determining the level of difficulty of a task. 
So for example, let's look at a text. We'll take a newspaper as a text. If you want to use that for a low level, you might just look at the pictures. That would determine a fairly low level task. However, you might want to use it at a more complex level. So you might look um, just at what the headline might be and trying to uh, explain what the article or predict what the article is going to be about. Or still using a newspaper, you could use a whole article or an editorial and be asking for a summary uh, or a reflection on that. So it's how these two interact, the text complexity and the task complexity, that determine the level of a task. When you're working with the ACSF, you must always be informed by the performance variables grid. It's absolutely critical. The third key feature of the ACSF are the three domains of communication. These are broad contexts within which a core skill may be used. They are personal and community, workplace and employment, and education and training. So we're going to look at how each core skill is presented in the ACSF. The core skill we will look at is writing and the level is level one. Performance in level one writing is described in terms of indicators, focus areas, performance features and sample activities. All core skills and levels of the ACSF are presented this way. Firstly, the writing core skill is divided into two broad statements that we call indicators. The first indicator addresses audience, purpose and meaning making. That's like big picture. And the second indicator addresses the mechanics of writing. This is more like the nuts and bolts, so the, the vocab and the spelling and the punctuation, etc. So let's look at the layout of the first indicator. So this slide shows the layout of writing level one and the first indicator. And at level one, that is, conveys a simple idea, opinion, factual information, or message in writing. Underneath is the relevant line from the all important performance variables grid, describing the appropriate support context, text and task for level one. Then the writing has been, uh, it's been divided into two sections, so two big indicator statements, and then each one is made up of a different chunk of information. And in this case, the focus areas for writing for all levels are range, audience and purpose, structure and cohesion, register, and plan, draft, proof, and review. So these are the big picture focus areas for the core skill of writing. Against each of these focus areas are performance features that give you quite a lot of specificity about what is required to demonstrate performance at the particular level. So for level one writing, for example, if a person is rated at level one, they'd be expected to demonstrate that they can write two short, simple texts. For example, a form with basic personal details or a simple personal story. The second writing indicator is about the mechanics of writing. And the indicator statement at level one is displays limited vocabulary, grammatical accuracy and understanding of conventions of written text. Underneath, again, are the four variables from the performance variables grid. That's support, context and text and task complexity. Then that indicator statement has been broken into five focus areas, which are down the left hand side, vocabulary, grammar, punctuation, spelling and legibility. This is the same layout for every level of writing in the ACSF. And you can see beside each focus area, there's 
a performance feature which describes the level of specificity for performance. So for example, punctuation uses basic punctuation, for example, capital letters and full stops, but this may be inconsistent. So at a broad level, you have the performance variables grid outlining the support, context, text and task complexity appropriate for each level. This guides assessment, not teaching. So in the teaching process, <clears throat> you can offer as much uh, support as you need, but in assessment, you must be guided by the performance variables grid. And this is common across all six core skills and the six levels. So at the next level, you've got the core skills learning, reading, writing, oral communication and numeracy, which gives a bit more detail of the ACSF. Then you come down to the levels and learn that there are six levels and they represent milestones along a continuum of performance. So each time you come down through one of these levels, you're getting a bit more detail about the ACSF. Each core skill is broken up into its parts to provide more information about the detail of the, the skill. This includes uh, the two indicators, which are general statements about the core skill. Every core skill at every level has two indicators, except numeracy, which has three. And each of these indicators consists of a number of focus areas, which are like parts of that core skill. This enables it, us to break up the core skill so we can understand it more. The performance features are the really detailed descriptions of performance. These act as a guide to ensure consistent and reliable ratings at each level for each core skill. So you start at the top with some general information coming from the performance variables grid and then each time you come through one of these layers you get more detail about the ACSF till you get the really uh, specific detail of the performance features. But you might not need to go to this level of detail. The performance variables grid and the indicators might be enough. Or you might want to start with knowledge of the performance variables grid and slowly work through until you get to the quite specific information of the performance features. So just start where you need to and work through the ACSF as you need it. Let's have a look at the numbering system and the colour scheme used in the ACSF. In this picture, you can see that if you're talking about learning, the colour is yellow. If you're talking about numeracy, the colour is green, etc. There are also a set of indicator numbers. So the numbers after the dot point represent the core skill. Before, we looked at an example of writing. Have a look at the picture. What, what is the colour that represents writing? Blue. And what are the two indicators that represent writing? That is the two numbers listed there after the dot point, 05 and 06. Before we looked in detail at level one of writing. So we were looking at 105 and 106. That is, the number before the dot point tells you what level of performance it is and the number after the dot point tells you what indicator and core skill you're referring to. So have a look for reading. First, have a look at the two indicator numbers for reading. Now, if I said a person was uh, demonstrating evidence for level two, 203 and 204. So let's look now at oral communication. The two numbers that represent oral communication are 07 and 08. What if a person demonstrated level three in listening, but level two in speaking? How would that be represented? So level three listening and level two speaking, 207, 308. The ACSF recognises that levels of performance may vary across core skills 
or even within a core skill. Just think about your own levels of performance across this core skills. Are they the same for every core skill or do they vary? It is very common to have different levels of performance. This is what we call a spiky profile. Let's have a look at a couple of examples of a spiky profile. This figure represents a spiky profile for student A. So you can see the dotted line represents the student's performance levels. Level two for learning and reading, level one in writing, level three in oral communication, and level one for numeracy. Using spiky profiles can be a way of really assisting your students who may want to go on to accredited training. So in this figure, we've plotted the skill requirements to successfully complete the Certificate 3 in individual support. That is level 3 in learning, reading and writing and level 2 for oral communication and numeracy. That's a spiky profile of what's required for the Certificate 3 in individual support. Onto this, we have mapped the dotted line which shows a student's existing skills, that is level three learning, level two reading, level two writing, level two oral communication and level one in numeracy. As soon as you look at this, you can see where the gap is. So in reading, for example, the student is operating at a level lower than what will be needed to complete the Certificate 3 in individual support. Similarly, for writing and for numeracy. This can be a really good way for you to identify the gaps and where the student might be needing some preliminary help before they enrol in the course or some ongoing help while they complete the course in order to do so successfully. Performance features are skills that we want the learner to acquire. They are detailed descriptions of what a person who is competent at the level is able to do. Performance features are grouped against the focus areas. We've looked at these in earlier slides. Sample activities are examples of the application of the performance features. Sample activities are grouped against the three domains of communication. The next two slides show the list of sample activities for reading at pre-level one, both A and B. Sample activities are a selection of application of the performance features. They are provided in order to guide you in preparing assessment tasks appropriate to the context and the level. Sample activities are provided for every course skill at every level. Just take a moment to look at this slide and the next slide to get an idea of what the sample activities look like. This is for reading pre-level 1, A and B. This slide gives you the opportunity to practice your understanding of the performance feature, which is the skill to be acquired, and the sample activity, which is the application of that skill. So for example, the performance feature might be writes words, short phrases. Why is that skill important? When will it be applied? How can it be demonstrated? That's the sample activity, which might be filling in a form. Now have a look at the performance features below and see if you can provide an example of when that skill might be applied. So on this slide you can see that I've added some sample activities from the ACSF. The sample activities in the document are just examples. There are lots and lots of different ways that you might have to apply or different opportunities for applying the performance features. The sample activities are to put you in the ballpark so you've got an idea 
of how to develop assessment tasks. They are written for every core skill at every level against the three domains of communication. The Digital Literacy Skills Framework has been developed very recently and has been trialled in 2020. This skill has been added as it is seen as essential for individuals to participate in today's society. The framework mimics other ACSF core skills in terms of key features and layout. It currently incorporates pre-level one to level three. It has two indicators, which you can see in the box to the right, and each indicator has two focus areas. You can access the Digital Literacy Skills Framework in your resources pack.